Hi everybody, welcome to this general playthrough video guide for Pro and Expert Division in the Southern Pines 9 Hole Cup here on the channel, looking at the more recent pin locations of course. Please give me a thumb up, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. General wind directions here, we won't know those until the tournament begins. If you're playing expert though, we'll have you covered on Thursday and Saturday. Please note, most of these shots are from my archives and I've given you the adjustments as I go as well. Hope you find the content useful and good luck in the Southern Pines 9 Hole Cup. Uh, 5.8 top spin, 3 bars side spin to the left, going with APOC 5 plus. APOC 4 would um, in theory work, but you will be obviously a little bit shorter. Uh, half the red ring inside the rough with APOC 5 or 6. And then we adjust max plus 10. It does take us into overpower. Regardless of the amount of rings into overpower, I would recommend playing max overpower every time. Obviously, hitting perfect is the key. Minor great balls should still be fine, though. Perfect ball away, and we want to try and get as much distance as possible to end up with as much of a clear shot as we can for the second shot here. The right side, obviously, is ruled out with this wind angle. 369, going to be absolutely fine. And then we're going to play with the Cataclysm here, or the Big Dog, purely for distance, because the Sniper will be short, and then you'd have to play with more topspin and maybe overpower. One bar of topspin, three right spin, setting up at about plus four or plus five. It will vary depending on your drive, but we want to have the first bounce about one ring before the beginning of the green. Then we are going to adjust max plus ten on this one. Max plus ten, even though we are not at max distance of club. And then we play with half a ball of curl to the right. The goal here is just to get the ball safely to the green or the fringe um, for the birdie, wedge or putt. Eagle, very, very difficult with this wind angle. Minor great ball, still going to be absolutely fine though. Uh, it does take the slope and roll down, but we're going to have a very, very simple wedge for the birdie. Hole number two offers a very good chance for a hole in one. Going to use a funnel on the left of the pin here. And we go with the kingmaker and a quarterback. 0.9 backspin, so one click less than one. And two bars side spin to the left. Add your spin. And then we have the top of the inner ring touching the rough line. Ball guide in the video here. I go just right side of pin. However, it does drop just on the edge. So I would aim at the pin instead. The problem here is simply adjusting your rings. Certain wind angles will bring in the trees uh, right in your view of adjusting the rings. So try and find a good point where you can zoom out and adjust all your rings in one go. It's mid plus 20, power 3. Mid plus 20, power 3. Obviously keeping the wind below 8 is preferable because you have less rings to adjust. Uh, but I have had a 9.0 uh, wind strength here and I still contacted the rough very nicely. As you can see, aiming just high of pin drops it on that side. So aiming at the pin instead should bring you right centre of the cup for the hole in one. Nice wind on hole number three. You're going to play no movement target shot. So start with the correct driver and a power five ball. Playing with APOC 5 plus, if you don't have APOC 5, you can actually use extra mile uh, nine here. But I would not push up to max because you may go too long. Uh, max plus 10, 5.8 top spin with APOC 5 plus, and one bar side spin to the right with our no movement target. After we've adjusted max plus 10, push back up to max and then go full overpower. If you are using extra mile 9, you can go full top spin, but I would push up um, about 6 or 7 yards from max, especially in higher winds, even more than that, otherwise you risk rolling too long. Perfect ball is good, but obviously... Uh, even a minor or double great will still be on the fairway with APOC. Anything around 470 to 500 yards will be fine. Second shot we can play with the sniper as we're using a berserker and I would recommend going with um, about four and a half, five bars of backspin here, two bars side spin to the right and then we just find a nice spot where, where the ball guide doesn't move too much. Now you can leave the ball guide lower than pin to compensate for the tailwind push if you want to. Here I left it pretty much at pin. We are going to miss on the high side, but I would rather do that than aim too low and risk rolling into the bunker. So it all depends if you want to have a go for the albatross, which is a very difficult chance, very um, tough one to drop, or if you just want to play it safe. Max plus 10 is the adjustment 
then we hit perfect. No curl, because the slope will do the rest for us. Bounces before the bunker and catches the slope. As I say, the tailwind pushes us a bit high. You can offset a couple of squares low if you like. The choice is yours, but we just need to secure the eagle. Here we have an eagle on this par four. We do have very good wind angle. I am going to use another berserker. I know that's quite a few already, but obviously if you don't have too many berserkers available, you'll have to pick and choose where you want to use them, if at all. If you don't want to go this route, then obviously play to the left side with the power three ball. Stretch out, as you can see there, aiming on the fairway between the rough and the right-hand bunker. In the video, I go 5.8 top spin to left spin. Either we need to go with a bit more curl here, or we need to reduce the top spin. Um, fairly strong wind as well, 11.2. I go with half a ball to the left. It's max plus 10, power 5. Push up to max. Perfect ball here. We are going to be close to the rough, though. So just to be on the safe side, I would go with a little bit more curl. We do have room for that. But maybe just reduce the top spin down. Maybe 5.2 or five bars would be better. Don't really want to be that close to the rough. But we're still going to be fine for the second shot because we're going to go with a pin check. So playing with the thorn, do a pin check first, bullseye directly over the pin. Gives me plus three here. And for a pin check of plus three, I'm going to play this one exactly mid-distance, 10% elevation. 2% per yard either way if your pin check is slightly different. And it's a no spin shot, so a nice easy setup. No spin, ball guide to the front of the cup because we do have tailwind. So for a plus three, 50% slider, 10% elevation, power five. This is a replay. I did not adjust over the bullseye. It was a standard pull to the bullseye on this one. So just to have that said to ensure accuracy, uh, more information about slider and pin check on the Academy Tutorial playlist. Perfect ball here, excellent chance with a berserker drops beautifully for an eagle. Playing with the quarterback and a kingmaker. We're going to add spin first, and it's a couple of clicks less than two bars of top spin, so it's going to come out at 1.8 top spin. And then the position here is the inner ring, the green ring, or the inner yellow ring, whichever you want to call it, touching the rough line. And the ball guide there will catch the slope down towards the pin. So I just check my position, ball guide there curving back to the hole. Very simple adjustment, it's one on one. So for 8.3 in wind, then adjust 8.3 rings. Very smallest favour of 11.59 on the pull angle here. Looking back at the replay, this does drop very nicely though. I have tried the backspin shot as well, but seem to have more success with the rough bump. So perfect ball here. Make sure you're in that little funnel. The key is of course to get the speed right. We get a very nice camera angle and drops it nicely for a hole in one. If you're enjoying the free content here on the channel and want to support that and help keep it free, we've launched a brand new patreon.com home page. There is the link. There are lots of perks if you want to become a member over there. All support of the channel is massively appreciated and it will help, of course, to continue to provide the Golf Clash content here for you. So please go and check that out over at patreon.com forward slash bkgolfclash. Time to play a slice shot on hole six. Now I'm going to focus on the landing position first. There's no adjustment here, but aim at the tree on the left. It's not the tree to the left of the pink bush. There's one further to the left of that in the distance, so make sure you aim just left of that one. Um, it's 5.8 top spin, 2 left spin. With APOC 5, you will have to go with a berserker. No adjustment, full curl, full power slice with your top spin and left spin. If you have APOC 6 plus, you can play with a Titan because you have more top spin, in which case go with more top spin. Otherwise, with 5.8 and a Titan, you won't clear the tree. Uh, if you have higher wind than I do in the video with a Berserker in the 11s, then move further to the left, otherwise you will land in the rough on the right. So you're going to move left to compensate. But we want a clear shot from the tree, which we've got now using a Berserker with APOC 5. I take a back fringe check with the Thorn, it comes out at plus, seven, uh, sorry, plus 8 here. So in the video, I go um, with 
slider value that I think is appropriate. It is under adjusted, so I'm going to give you the correct value based on the miss. So for a plus eight back fringe check, no spin shot, ball guide to hole, you will need to play 42% slider, 25% elevation. So there are some numbers to work with. More about using a slider on the Academy tutorial playlist and also about doing uh, distance checks, for instance, as we do here, back fringe check. Perfect ball is going to be tricky with a berserker with the wind effect, but like I said, the tweak there should get you in for the albatross. Here on this par 4 we're going to use either the Apoc, you can use an extra mile as well, you don't have to have the Apocalypse. Four and a half top spin, three bars side spin to the right, there is a blast shot over on the right hand side of the hole if you get extreme tailwind you might well be on the green, but most generally in the usual wind conditions you're going to be playing this route on the left. Max plus 10 and then we're going with half a ball of curl to the right just before the circle drops as my overpower reference and hit perfect. If you want to make the second shot a little bit easier in terms of club distance, then if you have the possibility to play with six bars of topspin, do so as you will be nearer the green. Drive distance, 350. Second shot, most likely, even if you've pushed the drive a bit further, is going to be with the long iron. Here I'm at mid distance. I found the min and the max lines to estimate my true club distance playing with four backspin and one bar side spin to the right. Now, even if we miss this one on the left-hand side, the ball will roll down the slope, but you will still be able to putt now that this pin has been relocated. Mid plus zero is the adjustment here. Obviously, I would in general wind conditions. Uh, for general play, recommend you play true club distance. So if you have pushed the drive a little bit further, play maybe 25% slider. Just judge it yourself and go with what you think is best if you are not dialing in a specific wind angle. Perfect ball away, offsetting to the right of the cup because of the slope and we just sneak it in on the left hand side. Slightly nasty wind angle here on hole 8. I am going to suggest a backspin shot but it will need um, a decent level Thor's hammer really to take the bunkers and the rough out of the way. So I'm going with max backspin, one bar side spin to the right setting up with all of the yellow ring on the green with the Thor's Hammer 6. And you'll see there the ball guide does go beyond the pin, which is deliberate. The adjustment here is mid plus 10 power 3 settings, and I am using a 1201 pull angle. This is to prevent me from landing too close to the beginning of the green or the bunkers. Perfect ball, this is going to come fairly close to the pin. Uh, very difficult shot to drop. Uh, here is option one for hole number nine. Sadly, it is not a kingmaker. This is going to be Bubba or Luminary or something similar. This is a really nasty wind angle. Uh, max top spin that you have possible and uh, some left spin here. Set up at max power five. Make sure your second bounce is beyond the bunker. Of course, it will be with your spin added. Max plus 10 power five numbers. Full over power regardless of what you were just into. Uh, and then just try and hit as close to perfect as you can. Uh, I do catch a great right here. Still going to be okay for the second shot. If you've got more top spin, um, then you are obviously going to get further on your drive and you will reach the green a lot easier in two. But even if you just have APOC 5, uh, which I do here, you can actually still get your eagle. Um, play with the distance wood club that gives you the most top spin. Big Dog 8 is better than Cataclysm 5 in my instance. I try and see if we can get over there with Max OP. I need at least a 5 ring adjust and it's not going to carry over there. So I'm going to have to bounce over. Max top spin to right spin. Now, because I hit great right, the trees are going to be in the way. So I'm going to have to play with curl. You will have to adapt um, accordingly. Uh, in the video here, I go mid plus 10. I could probably have gone with more because we bounce quite far away from the rough. Um, so I go with about one ball of curl to the right just to make sure I'm not going to hit the tree even with a great right. Uh, perfect is fine. And like I said, the top spin is important because you want as much distance as possible. But even rolling here, we are still going to have an end bringer shot for the eagle. I'm going to show you that one right away. Going to play the no spin end bringer method. If this is new to you, check out my quick fire tutorial on the Academy playlist. Finding max club, the pin is going to be beyond 
100%, so I estimate this to be 120% on the slider. If your slider will not go above 100, then set it to 20 and add together your mid and max value. Standard end bringer rules apply, 20% elevation, power 5 settings. Make sure the ball guide is just through the cup though here, because we do have headwind, we don't want to be short. So I would set up a little bit further up. Ball guide to the front of the cup isn't going to work, so make sure that ball guide is going to the back of cup at least. Make our adjustment in the video here, 120% slider, 20% elevation. Perfect ball, and we drop it for the eagle. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clan mates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.